we build classic defenders. That's what I enjoy about it. Other companies do it, but they try and turn them into something they're not. Whereas all our vehicles are classic defender, and I do enjoy that. You know that you're building something that will last. You know, the very first vehicle I've built, I know it's still out there, and I know the bloke loves it. They all pass it down to their children, they will then pass it down to their children. It will become a family heirloom. And it's quite something to be proud of. It's got my name under the bonnet. It's a vehicle that's served in every environment around the world. It's an iconic shape, iconic design that, that spans back from the late 40s, and it's much loved across the world. Customers, you know, are paying for a premium product. Attention is taken to make sure that every detail that they specify is taken care of. Rob's not pressuring any of us to build quicker. He just makes sure that the quality is achieved. I've bought myself a huge old vintage workshop manual to show exactly the torque settings of every single nut and bolt, how it all goes together, because I'm the type of person who has to put it in that exact way. So it comes out exactly how it's meant to be. Very proud. Uh, I, I feel that I've taken something that has lasted well to this point and given it another lease of life. Hopefully I built them as well, if not better, than, than they originally put together. I'm a Land Rover man through and through. You want it to be right and the customer to go, well, there's no, nothing wrong with it at all. That is exactly how I would expect to get it from a mainstream manufacturer, if not better. Each vehicle is built by a named individual and it's their responsibility to take it nose and to tail. And I think that's one of the defining parts of the business and the bit which gives us joy. It's the attention to detail. It's actually the hidden detail that isn't seen. The way we talk the bolts, the way we mark them off as talk, the way we wax them several times to stop them corroding, even though they're underneath the vehicle, even though it's not part of a regular build, it's going the extra mile. We will keep finding faults until we've got it perfect. And whether that means removing an engine to deal with a squeak or a, or a bearing noise or a belt issue, we will remove an engine, we'll remove the gearboxes and we'll put them back in again. And we'll do it twice, three times, four times. So nothing leaves unless we've signed it off and we're happy with it. I look after everything on the, on the US side. I'm working with one of my best friends. We've known each other since we were 11, 12 years of age. We've been around these trucks all our lives. It's very much passion driven. Most importantly, we have a lot of fun doing this and our clients do too. It's not a Jeep, it's a, it's a Land Rover. And uh, the shape, style, design is, is, is so different. I mean, there's nothing like it. Thank you.